Hey everyone, and welcome to my uh, video documentation on building of a Prusa i3. Um, I'm actually going to be calling this a Prusa i3 XL. The uh, reason I'm calling it XL is because I'm using the i2 uh, smooth rod lengths. Um, because of that, actually the footprint of the overall printer is much larger than the current i3. Um, I'm going to be using all of the standard i3 components as of today, which is October 1st, 2012 with exception that I've made a modified um, X carriage just so that I could use a Buda nozzle and a wild build uh, cold end uh, extruder. So to begin with, uh, I've gotten two long pieces of threaded rod. These are 17 and a quarter inches long, um, as well as I have four pieces, four smaller pieces. These are 8.625 lo inches long four corner posts, the motor mount, and the Y belt receiver, as well as a bearing. Um, nice thing about this is the threaded rod that I used that I was able to get um, all these pieces as well as a short piece about this long um, and all out of a 72 inch long piece of threaded rod, uh, which works out great. Um, so let's begin. All right, so I've started finished up on this end. Uh, what I'm going to do first here is basically align these to the length that I need. For here, I'm just going to take my caliper, set it to six inches exactly. Place it between the two, and then cinch these up. All right, so I kind of cut and wanted to do a little fast forward here. So kind of just taking you back. What I did was took my caliper, measured the distance between here, and using that, measured the distance, made sure this was six inches, squared this up and tightened it up. And I added these, and then I used my caliper as well. It's kind of a guide stick, and made sure that these were both the same length. So, and... That's basically about at least what you can do as far as here, where you're at with this. Um, it could be a lot more squaring up and such as we add more onto it. As you can see, it's still kind of a little bit flimsy. But right now, we're just kind of jigging everything up and getting things straight. This is the extra piece of threaded rod I talked to you about. Really nice is I'll be able to use that for adding the bearing for both the Y and the X later on. So this concludes at least stage one of the process and I'll see you at stage two.